Hey everybody, welcome back. We're looking at some times when the comments were funnier than the TikToks themselves. Lana is here, she is vacuuming. I cannot sing about the vacuuming because we got a copyright claim last time. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Why are you going so fast? Why? Give me time to process! <laughs> Why are you shaving off that luscious, luscious man beard? That luscious man broom on your face? How long did that take to grow, honestly? But wait, there's more. Pretty sure my wife has said this to me before. <laughs> he wanted braids. <laughs> when she says, I love you, but you've only been dating for a month. <laughs> Stop! You're going so fast! Give me time to process! This sound has lots of potential. <laughs> Paige. Something bad has happened since you've napped. What? The queen died. No. Don't. <laughs> the queen of England. Don't. Oh, like the literal queen died. <laughs> yes. Whoa, did she actually? Yeah. Oh my god. Not Beyonce! Not Dolly Parton! I like how her immediate thought went to Dolly Parton. Fair. I'm out of bed in the summer of the kitchen. Pour myself. Ah, we can't sing. Ah, we're not allowed to sing. I'm out of bed in the kitchen. The relief when she realized Dolly didn't die. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God. I mean, that's sad, but also thank God. This is my new favorite TikTok. <laughs> Whoa, did she actually? Whoa, cool. Yeah, the way she said that was like, Whoa, really? Sick. The way she whispered, Dolly? As if she was afraid to speak it into existence. <laughs> it is imperative that someone show this video to Dolly. <laughs> Nah, but she pulled up that phone so fast. We are so obsessed with social media that nowadays, whenever something tragic happens, we just... Oh, no, that's so sad. It's like a fleeting thing. Oh, bummer. The queen died! Raise your hand if you've ever burnt your fingerprints off on the bottom of a frying pan. I'm not kidding. I literally cannot get the fingerprints out of the frying pan. They're like baked oh in. Oh my god. The best part about this whole thing is I was literally filming a YouTube video while I did it and I caught the whole thing on camera. So just be Show aware. Us. Ooh, god damn. Ooh, Ooh god this damn. Oh, I just burnt the f out of my hand. At this point, I just deal with the pain and let it heal, I guess, and let it burn like a shot. And also. Commit a crime. You don't need gloves anymore. Great. Why would you touch it though? That looks so painful. I second that. Why? why? <laughs> Let me just put my hand on the burning stove. I need to test it. He really said, so just beware. No, sh you are the one that needs to be aware. <laughs> the fact that he said be aware when he burnt the crap out of his own fingers. I'm not taking advice from you, sir. Not the sizzle. It's the sizzle for me. Medium rare. <laughs> well, at least you don't got to worry about fingerprints when committing any crime. See, this is what I'm saying. That's immediately what my mind went to. Next time, try seasoning your fingers before searing for tastier results. I also heard an overnight brine works well. Happy cooking. <laughs> Be aware. Proceeds to put hand on hot pan. Not aware at all. <laughs> no, but what was your goal there when you reached in and just stuck your fingers on it? <laughs> okay. Ah! Fuck. Thanks for driving. I would, but my dad took my Benzi away. I've been, fucking, I've been partying too much. He's got a problem with it. It's like if you have a problem with it, then crush a beer with me. Fucking, bitch. I'm hungry. Let's go get some sushi. <laughs> some sushi. <laughs> 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 Why do I get PTSD from watching this? Let's go get some fucking sushi, eh? Buddy, you're fucked, eh? Every single Canadian boy I've ever been on a date with, in one nutshell. In the tiniest nutshell. Got the hunger, eh? For some sushi? Ripsy doodle. You wanna have a ripsy doodle before we go get some sushi? The Benzi and Sush send me back. I don't know what it is about frat boys, like Canadian frat boys, but they shorten every word. 
Like, why do we need to shorten it? Benz has less syllables than Benzy. Why is this giving Southern Charm vibes? I don't know. This is giving me like <laughs> nowhere Canada vibes. I can fix him. <laughs> like, okay, we can work with that. <laughs> Are y'all okay in these comments? No, no. I've been on this date. <laughs> saying this sounds really familiar why would i still go on a second date because he's cute the way i would fall in love after the sush line and ignore the other red flags <laughs> he's the one who gets some fucking sush eh? it's the confidence it's because he's confident like he's got a little bit of flow you know what i'm saying okay yeah no he's he, oh oh Sorry, Mike. Sorry, sorry. He's cute. I'm just saying, for research purposes, I had to watch it again. <laughs> and can confirm, it's the confidence. The problem is that I love him. <laughs> I don't know what y'all are talking about in these comments. This triggered my fight or flight. <laughs> yeah, because you know you would fall in love, but you know that that love will inevitably end in hurt. He's just with you for the sush, babe. I thought this was just going to be another cute video of Portia being excited to greet me. Oh my gosh, I missed you too. Hi. How was your day in the yard? How was your day? Oh my goodness, I love you. Happy. Why are you so happy? Yeah. Well, you got some fluff coming out. Look at all your fluff coming out. Okay, okay. Dun, dun. Dun 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 dun. Okay, okay, okay. I love you. Are you my porky potato? Are you my porky potato? Oh, wow. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh. That's my phone now. Okay. Ah! What you know that? <sighs> Why does your fox sound like a monkey? I love you still. <laughs> that was wild. Wow. Oh, I want a fox now. You took her fluff, she took your phone. <laughs> this was so cute. She just wanted that camera for herself. She wanted you to see inside her home. She's an influencer at heart. So that's what the fox says. People who do this stress me out for real, for real. I just saw someone post on their Instagram story from their bed saying, I have a flight in an hour. Will I make it? No. <laughs> Go. You board in 32 minutes and you're not vertical yet? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this girl the other day posted a video where she said, I have to be at this important dinner in 15 minutes, but get ready with me. Get ready with you. <laughs> you have to. Go. What are you doing? <laughs> but they're lying. There's no way if you actually had to be somewhere in that small minuscule amount of time <laughs> that you would be making content. Why is he right though? You know, as someone who's never late, they do stress me out when they say <laughs> it like that. These influencers will be out here saying, oh, I need to be in the airport in a minute. Um, but let, let's put on my lip gloss first. No, let's, let's not. not get your ass in an Uber and get to the airport. God damn. It's especially the airport ones because like, I just know you're going to go through so much BS when you get to the airport. I know it's not me, but I know what you're going to go through and it stresses me out. You're going to miss your flight. You're going to have to buy another ticket. You might have to stay at the airport for a few hours. Oh God, just go. You know you have anxiety problems when you get secondhand anxiety from other people being late. <laughs> Why do I care? Okay, hippo, hippo time. Yeah. Need to come and check the. Um... <laughs> oh, y'all snap that like a blueberry. Good job, bud. You know, that could be your head. Yeah. Does anyone else picture their own head going in there? Just mine, because it's orange? Yeah. 
but he's making sure he doesn't bite them. He's so gentle. So gentle with this pumpkin. Not me worry about him choking. <laughs> my dad asking for a bite of my burger. The bite. <laughs> my toxic trait is thinking I can also do this. <laughs> you should try. Let's see. What if I put my head... <laughs> What's your craziest college experience? <laughs> what the f What the f What the f Indeed. You're right. You're right, buddy. Yeah. You sound kind of sick, dude. Just... <laughs> now I want to know. <laughs> I do. It made it so much juicier. She said everything without saying anything. <laughs> Wait, but I want to hear the story. Disinfect that phone. <laughs> the demon inside was trying to leave her. <laughs> I just know when she laughs, everyone else does. <laughs> it's true. It worked. Yeah. Imagine you're sleeping <laughs> in the middle of the night. She finds something funny and laughs like that. Oh, yeah. Scary. Scary. She invited you in to her home and let you have a spare room in her home. There would be no reason that I can think of that you would be so distrustful that you would take a picture of you handing her money. Yeah, because she ruled the way she is. She gave her husband $65 out of the rent money. It's not true, Your Honor. And she sells sure. drugs. Oh, wow. And she lost her kids. Okay. And she prayed by a homeless man. Okay. Wow. Okay. They come through the window. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah? You know Judge Judy wanted to hear all the tea this day because she normally stops all the BS. <laughs> she must be conflicted between, oh, this would make good TV and, oh, I cannot stand this anymore. That comes through the window. <laughs> I believe her, too. No one lies that specific. Through the window. <laughs> it just kept going. If and another thing was a person. Those are some times when the when TikTok comments were runnier than the actual TikTok itself. Subscribe! Uh.